when multiplying monomials to binomials, it's important to recall a specific thing about a value or a factor in front of a grouping or something in parentheses. Notice that A is in front of B plus C, and B plus C is grouped. We can distribute that A through with multiplication, where A times B is AB, and A times C is plus AC. Always be sure your final answer is simplified. In example one, we have a factor that has a radical in it, and it's multiplied to a binomial inside parentheses. It's the same idea as what we just talked about, where we have A in front of B plus C, only now we're multiplying with a radical. So let's go ahead and distribute 5 root 10 to 2 root 6. 2 times 5 is 10, and the square root of 10 times the square root of 6 gives us the square root of 60. Moving on to the next term inside parentheses, we get negative 3 times 5, which is 15, root 150. Notice I can multiply because my indexes in all these different pieces match. Now we have to be sure that we simplify before we give our final answer. 60 can be prime factored to 2 to the second times 3 times 5. So I can rewrite the first term as 10 root 2 to the second, 3, and 5. In the blue term, we have negative 15, which will stay as it is, but we can prime factor 150. Dividing that by 2, we get 75, and dividing that by 5, we get 15. Dividing that by 5, we get 3, and dividing 3 by 3, we get 1. So 150's prime factors are 2 times 3, times 5 to the second. So we'll go ahead and rewrite that, 150, with the prime factors in its place. Now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this, pulling out the factors that we can. So I'm going to have 10 times 2 root 3 times 5, which is 15. On the blue one, or the blue term, we're going to have negative 15 times 5, root 2 times 3, which is 6. At this point, I can simplify by multiplying the factors that are in front of the roots and I'm going to get 20 root 15 minus 30, try that again, minus 75 root 6. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my my prime factoring, and then move on to example two. In example two, we again have a distribution that needs to happen with the seven root three. 
Multiplying those together, we get 7 root 3 times 6, which is 18. Next, we multiply 7 root 3 to 9. Since there's no radical attached to the 9, we can just simply multiply the 7 times the 9, and the root 3 comes along. 7 times 9 is 63 root 3. Since this is already a prime number, 3 is, we don't have to worry about this one. But we do need to look at 18. 18 can be prime factored. Divide by 2 to get 9. Divide by 3 to get 3. Divide by 3 to get 1. So 18 can be rewritten as 2 times 3 to the second. So I'll go ahead and do that. At this point, I can factor or pull out a 3 because the index is 2, exponent's 2. So I divide the exponent by my index to get 1. So 7 times 3 is what's outside the radical, and 2 is what's left inside. Go ahead and rewrite the 63 root 3. And I can simplify that just a little bit further by multiplying the 7 times the 3. 7 times 3 is 21 root 2 plus 63 root 3. Since my indexes match, I could look and see if these two terms could be added together, but since the values inside the radicals don't match, this is as far as I can go. And this is my final answer, or final simplification.